Hello, I'm Gary Company. Welcome to The Dreaming Show. Hello, I'm Dante Company. In today's show, we are going to talk about how can I talk with my teenager about sex? When is the right time to talk about this topic with him? Well, the right time can be basically based on two things, probably. The age and how mature they are. Because talking about sex can be a pretty full-on awkward situation because you may not want to express what you feel or what you think towards it. Yes, sometimes parents feel uncomfortable talking about this topic and they prefer to be distant of this. However, as a parent, you are the best resource for your kid. That's true. Because um, if, if at one point you don't end up talking about sex, either way, your child will try to discover for themselves, whether it's by the internet, looking at porn, friends at a party and, and experimenting and that can sometimes lead to unwanted pregnancy or uh, unprotected sex which can lead to other sexually transmitted disease which is very terrible mm. and sometimes they get the wrong message so as a parent you need to approach to them to have the right communication listening to them and explain about this uh, topic is very important that's true always the communication is the key when to when talking about this uh, you know so topic. when when is the right time if we talk about age dante you are a teenager so tell to the audience when do you think is the right time to start talking a kid about sex well depending which country you're, you're all living at the moment here in australia in melbourne basically when i was at primary school they, they started talking to us about sex when we were around in grade around three, four, five, and six, which is, you know, a, a bit too early, because, like, you know, what are you going to do with yeah. that information? Yeah, sometimes it's too early because you just receive the information in the school, however, at home probably you don't have anything. Yeah. So we must create a balance. You must create as a parent. So approach probably to the school, talk to the teacher. I think they just started in grade four. Well, uh, somewhere about. I think with me it was around probably yeah grade four grade five mm -hmm. can't fully remember it was like before grade six so mm -hmm. tell me about your experience with friends for example in the school environment what do they talk about sex what they are expecting you know to get what kind of information they are willing to get from the parents well i know this one guy who uh you know likes to you can say get involved the ladies at the parties you know tries to probably get a hookup or like you know modern term and he tries so hard that you know, he just gets friends so basically all, all of the time but you know they, they like to talk about it experiment like you know kind of like a fruit salad you have like the watermelon the melons the oranges and all <laughs> that they like you know they, they want to try something different so they some at times they're not fully committed to staying with one person mm -hmm. okay so since the point of view approaching to their parents and receiving this information, what do they think to get, to receive from their parents? What are they willing to receive? Well, each parent are different. Yes. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. One parent might say, oh, stay with somebody uh, for a very long time, uh, have sex till after marriage. So other parents might say, experiment with other people. See how it goes, you know, have your fun, you're still young, you know, don't be too serious or commit at the moment. Yeah, it depends culture as well. Yeah. Religion culture is very important. Yeah, as you say, you know, Australia probably is different. Um, in my case, for example, I remember the old time that topic, sex, no way. We couldn't talk about sex, you know. So in the family environment, the parents talk about anything but no sex. What would happen if you talked about sex back in those times? Though? No, we didn't have the opportunity. Parents don't talk about that. How come? I don't know. Just is parents they pretend to be the authority or probably they are thinking it's not a good topic to talk about with the kids i don't know but we didn't talk about so this. it was like the forbidden word back in those days yes yes i think so now the time is changing i think probably parents are willing to give a go and talk to the kids you know and it's good not all of them but we say yes yeah. we respect we respect the parents point of view but we suggest open communication and talk more freely about this topic as Dante says at the beginning um, we can prevent 
unwanted pregnancy. We can prevent transmitted sexual disease, you know. Um, the idea is to improve the relationship in the family environment. What do you think? That I they... agree. Like, truthfully, when both my parents and I started talking about the sex topic, it was kind of like um, when you're watching the movie with your family and there's a sex scene and you're like, what on earth do I do? My parents are here, there's a couple kids sitting and about to get it down in the bedroom and all that. So what do I do? It's awkward. You don't know what to do. So it'll, it'll feel like that, you know, similar to that, but sometimes it can be worse depending on how your parents are, how close your connection is with them, if it's very, you know, bondly or if it's like, you no know, distant. It all depends on the parent and how your communication is in order to talk about the sex topic. Mm -hmm. As I told in the last program, we need to be best parents, friends. I'm not talking about good friends. So it's different, being just best parents, friends. Tell please to the audience the experience that you have at home with your parents. Well, basically with my parents at home, we can talk about anything, you name it, like drugs, sex, alcohol, whatever it may be. And we act like best friends when it's the, when it's the correct time, but when it's, if something wrong has happened or I've done something wrong or there's some uh, situation, that's where you know the parent act comes in. You act yeah. like a parent when it's the, the correct moment and you act like a best friend when it's the correct moment. Yes, we need to set up rules, expectations, boundaries. It's not just being a friend, it's not like that. It's being a, getting the balance, you yeah. know, being good best parents, friends, at the same time to have expectations about them. That's true, I agree. I mean, the balance is the key. And the communication. Mm -hmm. You told me something very funny that happened in your school when you talked to your friends, uh, you talked to your parents about sex. Tell us about that experience, please. Well, you know, they just get in shock because, like, you know, there's people that they wouldn't even dare to talk about it at home because, I don't know, parents might be not fully close or they just don't like talking about it. You probably they find like there's no need for that, just experience it yourself. What I have, whatever happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 it's true. You know, I said to, to Dante, it's very important to be open with your kids, with your teenager in this case. So, in that case, you can be aware if your teenager has a girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, and also to be close to that person. You know, for example, in Dante's case, he has a nice and beautiful girlfriend. And um, I talk to her, you know, and Dante's friends are very crazy when they know this. They say, how can your mom can be talking to your girlfriend? It's normal. They talk like best friends. Yeah, yeah. it's normal. So at that time, you can realize how the relationship would, could be with that person, you know. Um, and it's very important. I enjoy talking to her. She's a wonderful and nice and pretty girl. Well, you can talk about this topic, Dante. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> think the things your parents do to you. Yeah, yeah. What so, do do? yeah. So, the thing, please talk to your kids. It's better to start in an early age. But in, not too early, though. Not too early. So, the thing is, it depends how mature they are, it depends the trust and connection that you have with them. So, forget the time when the kid asks you how I was born. How I I been in your tummy, and the mother says because I ate a big watermelon. <laughs> I thought you could just order a baby online back in the days. This was like when I was like in grade one, two. I thought you could like order a baby online, or you buy it, or I don't know, you make it. Never really knew the truth and how it's made <laughs> until one day I found out. Yeah, pretty, pretty pleasant. Yeah, yeah. So just yes, please be open to you uh, to this topic with your teenager, with your kids, and you will see you will improve more the relationship in your family environment. Would you like to add something before we finish, Dante? Um, just have trust in each other. You know, just you know, be calm. Probably one time, just you know, sit down on the table and just try and explain it. Yeah. You know, calmly and. Try not to make it too awkward for the kids mm -hmm. and for yourself if you're the parent. Yeah, yeah. 
So I would like to invite you for our next workshop. It's in October 17. It's called Seven Communication Strategies for Visiting Parents and Teenagers. We will be sharing more ideas, tips. Uh, this workshop will be from 10 to 2 o'clock in Melbourne, Australia. It was a pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much for being with us. See you next week with more episodes. All the best. See you next time. Bye. Bye.